So we'll move on to the next module and now we'll write pseudocode to for back propagation and pay attention this is what your assignment is about so this is how you'll write your assignment okay so we have all the pieces of the puzzle we have the gradients with respect to the output layer that was the spatial layer because the output activation function is different we have the gradients with respect to all the hidden layers that means I have the gradients with respect to the activations as well as the pre activation so the H's as well as the A's and I also have the gradients with respect to the weights and the biases and this is all uh, index agnostic right that means I'm just using K as the index everywhere I have a generic formula which applies at any layer for the weights as well as the activations and the pre activations right okay now we can put all this together into a full learning algorithm so let's see what the pseudocode looks like so we have this t equal to 0 we'll run this for some max iterations we initialize all the parameters to some quantity we'll randomly initialize them okay now for these max iterations can you tell me what is the first thing that I'll do so there will be two functions here can you tell me what those two functions would be forward propagation and then backward propagation right so you do a forward propagation and you compute all these activations pre activations output layer loss everything right and then you do this backward propagation where you feed all these things which you have computed right these are the quantities which you have computed you'll pass this to your backward propagation algorithm it will not look so nasty as this it will not take so many parameters you could write it smartly uh, and then you'll just do the parameter update right so what will the back propagation give you actually all the gradients all the partial derivatives right and then once you have the partial derivatives you know how to compute the update rule is this clear so now let's look at these two functions more carefully the forward propagation and the backward propagation okay so forward propagation is simple for all the hidden layers that means from layer 1 to layer L minus 1 what will I do give me the code a k is equal to good then okay and what it what is h of 0 you are starting the loop from 1 right so you will need h of 0 that's x okay and then you will have a special treatment for the output layer and your final output will be whatever output function you use okay this makes sense you can write this in python okay you will have to write this in python okay uh, now we have computed all the h's and the a's what have we computed all the a's all the h's and all and the y right now you want to do back propagation so back propagation the loop will be from i equal to 1 to l minus 1 okay good so the first thing I'll compute is the gradient with respect to the output layer see even here the output layer was outside the loop the same thing would happen here also in the back propagation also first you will compute the gradient with respect to the output layer and this is the formula if you remember from last class right that's the formula which I have substituted here and note that f of x is known to you because you computed that in the forward pass and e of y what is e of y y one hot vector which with a correct label set to 1 and you know what the correct label is because we have given you the MNIST data right okay then what would the loop be L to 1 or L minus 1 let's see uh, first you compute the gradients with respect to parameters okay okay it's L correct so because we are using K minus 1 then you compute the gradients with respect to the layer below compute gradients with respect to the pre activation this is exactly how you will proceed is this clear to everyone the same three components that we have used you might be a bit confused about the ordering in which we have put them right because we computed the gradients with respect to pre activation first and then the weights but once you go back you will realize because it's the way we have indexed it right because this is already outside so this has already been computed so you can already compute the gradients with respect to the weights of the outermost layer okay is that fine so this is straightforward you can go back and check this okay uh, now anything remaining or you have everything can you just take a minute and see if you can visualize the Python code and we'll just assume that you're done the assignment you can right you'll have multiple these vectors and matrices and so on and you're just doing a lot of uh, matrix operations using numpy or skypy or whatever you prefer right is that clear okay now what is missing here input is missing okay input we have given right the MNIST data set has been given is there something that you have, I've still not shown you how to compute? Oh, I did not update the parameters here, is it? 
no the parameter update will happen in the outer loop right so there's forward prop back prop and then update the parameters right so the main algorithm was forward prop back prop update the parameters then we saw forward prop and now we are seeing backward prop okay so what is missing thousand iterations something in the last line before end of course do you know how to compute this do you know how to compute this okay <music>